Hey there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today we are going to review Knuckles. I have heard that this show is been getting mixed reception from Sonic fans and I thought I would come in and give you my own perspective on this show because honestly I did find Knuckles to be an enjoyable show so I thought bit by bit I will explain my opinion on it. So without further ado let's get into it shall we? And just as a quick warning before we get into this video this review does contain spoilers for Knuckles. So if you have not watched the Knuckles show already, it is advised that you come back to this video later. And with that being said, let's get into the review. For the story, Knuckles provides a mix of action and heart, set in a bonus level between the events of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. The series takes a detour from the cosmic escapades to focus on the earthly struggles of Knuckles the Echidna. As Knuckles grapples with his new life on Earth, he finds an unlikely friend in Deputy Chef Wade Whipple. Their mentor-apprentice relationship is the core of the story, providing a fresh perspective on the themes of growth and learning. Knuckles, embodying the spirit of the Echidna Warrior, imparts his wisdom to Wade, who is trying to win a bowling tournament in Reno, Nevada. This tournament is not just a game for Wade, it's a chance to reconnect with his long lost father. The series also has a side story of family reunion and redemption, as Wade encounters his mother and sister, offering a touching portrayal of family bonds. Meanwhile, Knuckles faces his own challenges hunted by vengeful former agent of Dr. Robotnik. This antagonist's quest to harness Knuckles' power introduces an exciting element of danger and suspense to the plot. While the plot may not be groundbreaking, it's executed with playful spirit that allows for ample character development and entertaining scenes. For the characters, the cast of characters in Knuckles each brings their own unique flair to the screen. Idris Elba stands out as Knuckles the Echidna, capturing the essence of the character's hot-headed yet serious nature. His performance is influenced by the classic video game icon, exploring Knuckles' adjustment to life on Earth with a depth that resonates with the fish out of water kind of story. Adam Pally, who portrays Wade Whipple, provides a delightful contrast to Knuckles. His portrayal of the dim-witted deputy sheriff is both engaging and comical, especially as he undergoes Echidna Warrior training. The supporting characters add an extra layer to the story, such as Julian Barat portraying Jack Sinclair, who who acts as a bounty hunter and former bowling captain, adding layers of complexity to the story. Christopher Lloyd, who you might know as Doc Brown from Back to the Future, gives life to Pacha Comic, who I didn't expect to really appear in it, but personally, I would have honestly preferred if Chaotix appeared in it, but, but the little screen time that Christopher Lloyd's character had in it was actually fun. And the villainous roles by Rory McCann, Scott Muscuddy, or Kid Cuddy, if you know who the musician is, and Ellie Taylor, introducing a compelling conflict as they seek to harness Knuckles' power for their nefarious ends. The inclusion of Alice Tregening as the young bowling rival Susie Barnes and the Whipple family portrayed by Stockard Channing, Eddie Patterson, and Kari Ells weaves in themes of rivalry, family, and reconciliation. And the commentary team, Paul Shear and Rob Hubel, add a humorous commentary layer, while guest stars like Kalino Shaughnessy, Ben Schwartz, 
Antika Sumter ensure that the Sonic Universe's heart and humour are still present within the Knuckles show. For the summary, the story, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The show, between all 6 episodes, doesn't have a strong story, but it was fun enough thanks to Wade Whipple's comedic moments. The writing, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The story may not be the strongest, but the comedy is what makes up for it. The visual effects, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The quality of the visual effects is on par with the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. The fight scenes were really fun to watch, especially with all those gadgets that give me vibes of the final battle of Blue Beetle. Mainly because of the glove gadget that Kid Cudi's character is seen with quite frequently within the show. And the final battle against that mech was fun to watch. The cinematography, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Because the way this series was shot may get weird in some episodes, such as episode 4, which had a weird and quirky stage play where Wade was in a Knuckles costume, but the cinematography is gorgeous in the scenery like Reno. If Knuckles ever gets a physical release, I feel like episodes 5 and 6 might be the best to watch. For the characters, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Knuckles doesn't have much screen time as you'd expect, but I feel like it makes up for it in that department by making Wade a more likeable character than he was in Sonic 2. And even though I feel like Pistol Pete Whipple was a jerk type character, he is likeable for how well written he is. And now we are going to do a short review for each episode. Starting with episode 1, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. The first episode does take a while to get into, since it just recaps Sonic 2 with an explanation of what Knuckles has been up to since the events, and it was a hilarious start to the show, don't get me wrong. For episode 2, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Episode 2 was my favourite episode. Even if Wade had more screen time than Knuckles, I enjoyed that quirky montage where he has to break into a hotel guarded by those two gun agents to free Knuckles. For episode 3, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Unfortunately, episode 3 was the weakest due to the lack of action in the episode, and it mostly showed off the Whipples and Knuckles at family dinner, which took too much time of the episode, but saved the action scene until the end of the episode. Episode 4, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Episode 4 was probably the quirkiest because of the stage show sequence, and Puppet Knuckles was probably my favourite part of that episode, and it was a fun episode even if Knuckles wasn't there. For episode 5, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Episode 5 may have just been a long lost father arc for Wade, but Reno in the Sonic universe just looks so stunning to watch. This isn't my favourite episode due to the lack of fight scenes in here, but the bowling tournament montage was an acceptable montage even if sports movies aren't everybody's cup of tea. For episode 6, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Episode 6 is probably the episode with my favourite fight scene, since the robot that Knuckles ends up fighting does remind me a bit of Kara Pax from Blue Beetle. And for the music, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The use of 70s, 80s and 90s music throughout the show made a majority of the show fun to watch, especially the title sequence, which I never skipped because of how creatively animated it was. For the audience, I'm going to give it a TV PG or 10 plus. This series does have more sensitive violence compared to other Sonic shows, but the action scenes are on par with the movies, so I shouldn't really see an issue here. And for the perk, I haven't written a perk system for video game adaptation TV shows yet, and I know that Knuckles is a streaming show on Paramount+, Plus, but I've had enough fun with it to award it the collector perk. At the end of the day, Knuckles is a show that doesn't have enough lore for the title character, but Knuckles is funny and action-packed, and that's all I can ask for with a Knuckles show. 
And overall, I give Knuckles Season 1 an 8 out of 10. Regardless of what everyone has said about Knuckles, it's a fun show. Even with the lack of character development for Knuckles, would I want a season 2? Yes. But honestly, I think a potential Knuckles season 2 should focus more on Knuckles with a balance between him and the Chaotix members. And I already have my fan casts locked in for the Chaotix members, and I really hope that a season 2 just focuses on Knuckles and the Chaotix. I don't think we need to see Wade for a while, because this show has had a huge development arc for him. So guys, what did you think of my review of Knuckles Season 1? So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8, out.